Check it out, guys. This is the brand new Halloween Hell 2021 from Hellfire Hot Sauce. And this one is called Vampira. Check that out. Well, we're going to review this hot sauce, find out about the original Vampira, and a whole lot more. So keep watching. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another hot sauce review. Now today I am super excited about this one because this is the brand new Halloween Hell 2021 from Hellfire Hot Sauce. You know this is a very special uh, and also a very busy time for both Merle and Diana of Hellfire because what they do for us chili heads is just really awesome. Putting together these collectible edition hot sauces and and uh, bottles that they do uh, and um, special releases uh, putting everything together is just really awesome and they do a fantastic job and this year guys it is Vampira Halloween Hell 2021 just look at that awesome label and this comes in these big huge 10 out size bottles now you might have tried the original Vampira Verde Venom, one of the best uh, Verde sauces I've ever tasted. Really, really delicious. Uh, they have ramped up the heat to create this one, guys, as we'll find out here in a little bit. But both Merle and Diana have uh, partnered with Johnny Coffin of Coffin Cases, and uh, he is also the owner of the, uh, the uh, trademark, I believe, here, uh, copyright for Vampira as well and I want to talk about both of them here in a little bit and uh, we'll just start with Vampira this very interesting story about this lady I'll show you some pictures as we go along but uh, Vampira's real name was Myla Nurmi and she was an American actress originally from Oregon that moved to uh, Los Angeles I believe uh, in the 40s trying to make a name for herself and a uh, uh, story goes that uh, her and her husband attended a uh, costume party. Maybe it was a Halloween party, I don't know, but uh, I guess she dressed up as something very similar to what was to become Vampira, uh, because a lot of people took notice of that, and uh, the rest is history. Now, she had one of the best screams that you'll ever hear, a blood-curdling scream. And also another inter interesting fact about her is that she had only a 17 inch waist that is tiny uh, but uh, just uh, really went through a lot I think the uh, show was on from 1954 to 1955 and a lot of stuff happened you'll just have to google it and find out about it but uh, she uh, passed away in 2008 at uh, the uh, age of 85 in Los Angeles California so very interesting story but uh, now to uh, Mr. Johnny Coffin. They're saying he is the, uh, the king of horror-related products in the music industry. Uh, Johnny Coffin is both a musician and an inventor. And when the coffin-shaped guitar case he designed for his personal use attracted attention wherever he carried it, he realized the potential market for the product and others like it. It really appealed to the darker subculture of rock and roll music. And when I carried the case to the studio, studio and shows, people always asked me, where did you get that? And I first created a high-end, um, I first created a high-end version of the coffin case. I was able to generate interest from affluent clients like celebrity Johnny Depp. And the high-end pieces got me into the press and gained popularity among Southern California artists coffin explain all right that is awesome so uh if you've been on the the link guys you can see uh what you get in here i want to explain some of that and show some of the pictures but this you'll get one of these this is the <coughs> excuse me the 10 ounce taster size bottle that you'll get but you'll also get one just like this resin sealed inside the coffin but let me read this from the website guys it says this year we have taken our Vampira Verde Venom and increased the Carolina Reaper content tenfold. And they've also used red fully ripe Carolina Reaper pods to increase the heat level even more. And they've also included in this guys, listen to this, a one milliliter purple vial filled with pure crystal 16 million Scoville heat unit pepper extract sealed with glow in the dark resin. 
And once again, the 10 ounce size bottles in the coffin are, are uh, resin, um, resin sealed. And there's also all kinds of stickers and Hellfire pins that you're going to get into each one of these. And it's also signed by Johnny Coffin as well as the Chili Master and the Sauceress. And this is the first and only coffin case that Hellfire Hot Sauce will ever release. So make sure to grab it while you can. And we think that you're going to enjoy this. And I think you will too, guys. Let me go ahead and uh, show you what this one looks like. If you compare it to uh, Vampire Verde Venom, um, consistency is pretty much the same. Kind of the look is the same, but I'm, this is definitely a little bit more red. And it's because of those 10 times the amount of um, red Carolina Reapers, not um, green Carolina Reapers. But let's go ahead and get into these ingredients, guys. I'm going to have to read it from my phone. You have to blow up these Hellfire labels because the ingredients are so small. But here we start off, uh, sodium is only 40 milligrams, but we start off with fire roasted jalapeno pepper mash. And then we have um, reaper pepper mash, uh, tomatillos, uh, green habanero pepper mash, granny smith apples, roasted garlic, scallion puree, cilantro, sea salt, cumin, and lime juice from concentrate doesn't that sound good all right well let's go ahead and open this up and uh see what this one smells like oh wow totally different top notes that you get from the verde venom you're definitely get you're smelling the uh, carolina reapers they're definitely coming through this one definitely smells a little bit hotter but you're also getting the fire roasted jalapeno mash a little bit it you know, the Verde Venom is, like I said, is one of the best uh, tasting Verde sauces. Just so rich and spicy and flavorful. And uh, this one's different. This one definitely smells hotter. And definitely you can smell the Carolina Reaper mash uh, that's in here really coming across a lot. All right, let's go ahead and try the Vampira Halloween Hell 2021. And see what this one tastes like. Always wants to get stopped up a little bit. All right, that ought to be enough. Here we go. Mm. Wow. Woo. If you love, maybe I can describe it this way. <laughs> Hang on. If you love a Verde sauce, but you want it hot, you want it hotter. You don't want to fool around with just jalapeno serrano heat. You want it hotter. This one is for you guys. Now the mouth is just filled, starting to fill with the heat. Uh, and the flavor of the Carolina Reaper mash is really coming through strong. It's giving you that nice oven hot burn all over. <clears throat> but right behind that is that awesome fire roasted jalapeno cilantro Verde flavor that was so delicious uh, in the original Vampire Verde Venom is coming through in this one. But first and foremost is that Red Carolina Reaper mash flavor. Super, super delicious, guys. <clears throat> My glasses are fogging up. Um, but wow, this is super, super delicious, guys. Um, heat on this one. I think I'd put this one at a six. So for a Halloween Hell um, release from Hellfire, I gotta wipe my eye. Right, for a Halloween Hell release from Hellfire, it's not a super, super hot one, um, but it is super delicious, guys. Really, really good. So highly recommended. Make sure you check it out. I'll put the link down in the description. They are still available. And uh, from Hellfire Hot Sauce, I'll put the direct link so you can find it. The um, Halloween Hell 2021 Limited Edition Black and Red Coffin Sets. So make sure you check it out. And stay tuned, guys. Hellfire has been extremely busy. Um, they've come out with some new products. Cranked, they've come out with this one. And there's some other, a couple other exciting sauces coming out very, very soon. So uh, stay tuned. I'll be reviewing that as well. All right, Merle and Diana, thank you so much for sending this uh, to me. I greatly appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a whole lot more. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.